Hey you guys, all right, so today I cannot tell you how excited I am to film this video. I always get like a little extra excited and giddy when it comes to handbag videos. And I think this one is gonna be sort of just like a very overview, like encompassing, just a video of so many different things, right? I have a big bag reveal showing you guys my Birkin that I got. I'm also gonna talk about a different one as well. Not even comparing because they can't even be compared, but just some info. Um, and my thoughts on, I don't see my thoughts on the brand, my thoughts on the process, my thoughts on how to get one, different ways you can get one, my opinions on that, um, misinformation that you see a lot, um, things that you may not know, my experience from talking to a number of sales associates, a few, um, actually three of them, one in particular, two in particular that I bought a lot from at our Hermes store in Atlanta, but three that I've talked to a lot at our store that are just absolutely wonderful that have given, you know, just, you know, just talking and, and getting info. And, you know, I've seen so many videos where people talk about Hermes or they talk about, you know, this or that and they're complaining about how the process works but and it's like it's not a department store like I get why it works the way it does I'm gonna explain a little bit of that to you but I'm also gonna maybe like cut a little bit of stigma um, as far as like the whole buying process goes how you buy it where you buy it. I am NOT a huge proponent of buying things pre-owned I think that you can get really awful things but I think that you can also luck out and find really good things I don't think you should get things pre-owned to save a buck because that's not how it works if you're gonna get something that's worth it and I'm gonna get into so much more detail about this I'm just kind of giving you guys an overview but if you get something that's worth it I don't want anything that looks used I want something that's new I want a box I want every little piece of everything I want it sealed my bag was brand new okay um, and I'll get into all of that but people do have this stigma of feeling I guess people that the same people that want it just because it's a Birkin or whatever feel that you have to get it from so you have to it's not a bad thing to buy one pre-owned they make the same amount regardless I don't want to get some stupid bag just because I can say that I got it from the store I don't want to go in and say hmm, what you got today because they probably don't have any at all honestly in the back I know I'm kind of just like getting ahead of myself but like you can walk into an Hermes and get what you want, okay? Jewelry, certain bags, you know, you can walk in and get what you want. There's a few bags that you can't. A Kelly and a Birkin, you cannot just go in and get one, and that is how it works because they're limited. That's why they're so expensive. That's why they're special because they aren't something that you can just go buy off the shelf, and it always floors me when people, I hear people talk about in videos that they should just be able to go get what you, they want, you know? And first of all, I don't feel that I'm that important where I could just, like, go in and get what I want. First, I get how the process works. It is special. It wouldn't be special if you could go in and get the one that you wanted. So most of the time, you're going to go into a store. They're not going to have any in, in, in stock. But if they do have one that there are tons and tons and tons of people on each sales associates um, list, which it doesn't even work that way, and I'll kind of, there isn't a set way of how it works, but I'll explain to you guys what I've been told. They're already going to be accounted for. Why is that one there? It's a weird color. It's a weird size. It's a weird material. It's something, something's off. I don't want to spend that much money on a bag that's a, something someone else didn't want that's there for a reason. I want the exact one that I want, the exact color, the exact material. This was my sort of like dream size and... I just came here to see what you are doing. I love you so much. It is something special. It's something that you should be picky about if you are going to um, to get one. And I'll show you all of everything with mine. I'll show you the size and everything. But I want to get into this a lot because I just want to be, I want to get real about Hermes and all of this, all this stuff. So if you're going to spend that much, it, here's my, okay, everything in this video, my opinion. I feel if you're going to spend that much, I want to get exactly what I want. Getting a bag that size, that color, there's so many different leathers, there's certain leathers that they only do at certain times, there's, you know, whatever, the, the hardware color, okay, I knew that's the one that I wanted, I knew that I wanted the black leather with the silver hardware, a certain type, um, honestly, a certain type of leather, they have so many different kinds, um, and it's it can get very confusing, but... You, if you go into a store and you say, hey, this is what I want, first of all, they're probably going to look at you even if they love you, even if they think you're like the coolest, sweetest, whatever person, they're probably going to be like, okay, they've, 
even if one of those bags came in, which they don't make like a batch of 15 and send it to a store, you're lucky if a store gets one of those every now and then. And is your sales associate even gonna be the one that has dibs on it to even then reach out to their hundreds of people that probably want one? No. So it's just rare to get, and for me, I'm like, I know what I want. I want to get exactly what I want. I'll look around until I find it. And you know what? I think that buying pre-owned, if you can get it from certain, there's certain places that I don't trust. Trust. I don't want to bash eBay, I don't. but you don't know what you're gonna get. I got mine from Fashion File. I love the experience. It was, and here's the thing. I would not even say I recommend going, and I'm gonna get so in detail with the bag, but just, just hear me out. This would be, I think this would be like a long video, okay? I know it's gonna be a long video. But I might get ranty, I might, I don't even know. I feel myself just like there's so much to talk about. I don't, I, you can find good things, but you can find a lot of garbage on these websites, even the best ones, even fashionable. I don't want to spend thousands of dollars for something that looks used. I don't want to, without a box or without this or without that. And it's like, no, you know, if I get it, I'm gonna shop pre-owned to get something that I would not be able to get at a store. When I buy anything else, Aramez or, or Chanel things or whatever, I like to get those things from the store. A lot of times, do your research. Don't go down Fashion File or somewhere and get excited. Do your research. A lot of those, I've seen a lot of things that are more expensive there than it would be just to walk into a Chanel store or into an Aramez store to get. I would rather have the experience and pay just a little bit more or sometimes the same amount than to just grab something off of there. I don't know. I mean, you'd be really surprised to see that. You'd be I think you'd be surprised if you really researched the the price which you absolutely should if you're going to spend money really on anything, but I love that site for getting things that are maybe limited edition that aren't available anymore or something that is super hard to find or something, you know what I mean? So be careful about that. And again, even though that's how I got mine, I don't recommend it because I feel like it was so rare. I was talking to a friend of mine, she got hers pre-owned as well a while back and I paid the same amount that I would at a store. You're not doing it to save a buck. Um, it's just to get what you want. I would rather have this perfect bag with everything. It is, it is an Hermes bag regardless of where it came from. Now if it was used looking and it didn't come with something, well then that would be a sucker. You know, I just, I cannot do that. But I would rather have this perfect bag that I love and it's mine and it's the one that I wanted rather than having a silly one or a big old weird one or something that I didn't like just to say it came from a store. I'm not about that. I wanna talk about next, like how I feel about this bag. And then I'm gonna talk about like the details of it. I'll go into all the depth. I'll show you every single thing it came with, which is exactly what it'd be if it came from the store, everything. I just want to get into so many different details, but I wanna talk about kind of how I arrived at this. I have never been a fan of a Birkin. They can look so, it's a bag that can look so many different ways. You guys know over the years, I'm a handbag person I love and I've got so many questions from people saying, when are you gonna get a Birkin? And I'm like, I don't even like, like, I don't. I've seen them in person, I've seen people carrying them and I hate to say this, but a lot of times you see people carrying a larger one. This one is the 30 and I just think, I, just, I don't know, something about this size. I'll link this little shirt dress too. Something about this size, it's just, it's chic, it's kind of small and cute, but it's not too big, it's not too small. If I go out to dinner at night, I can carry it and not feel like I'm carrying a giant tote suitcase or whatever, just for reference, this is my little, my garden party. Uh, I believe this is the 36, this is the smaller one. So um, it's not a giant bag, but it holds a lot. I'm, and I'm gonna tell you kind of what I did on the inside of it too. It is absolutely a bag where the size, where the material, where even how you have styled the bag, like, styled the bag, I hate to say that. Like there's a flap, I don't wanna like pull mine up because mine's still really stiff and like I don't wanna force it up. But when you see photos of Birkins, a lot of times when you see people carrying them, this is how they look, right? They carry them with the flap tucked in and um, that's just that. This is this makes it easy to get into. It's like kind of like a little top handle tote style. Um, this is how most people carry them. If you just wanted to, I think, destroy it, honestly, because mine's so tight and like down like that, it, I just wouldn't destroy it and like have it flopped over all the time. You see p pictures of the bag that looks like that, and do I sit it back here so we can look how cute it is? Um, you see pictures of the bag like that, and I just feel like it looks like a totally different bag, and it doesn't look good. I think that's just how they come when they're new, 
and I wouldn't necessarily do that and put the lock on it and close it up every time. That's just, and I just feel like it would wear and I just, I don't like that. So that's one thing. Again, when I see them a lot of times, it's like a brown, not that there's anything, but it's just, they just look different. I love how the silver and the black look. It's a very structured, kind of edgy looking bag. The size of this one, I think, helps keep its structure. And I'll tell you guys something else that I did about that too. But if it was a larger bag, it would be less likely to keep its structure. You know what I mean? It'd be kind of taller, floppier. You see, I think a lot of them that are larger than that, that are, yeah, I see people carrying those sometimes and it's like they just look like old bags. And sometimes I feel like, you know, when you see a lot of them pre-owned, that's what you see a lot. People have carried them. I don't know if like brown shades, Maybe there's just, there's just more shades of brown. I don't know if they're just more common that they make, but I feel like that's what you see a lot. You could get a different color or whatever, but I just think that the smaller ones that look a little edgier, I think are cute. I think any bigger than that, it gets a little too large and tote-like looking. I don't think it would look good if I carried that out at night. You know, I just feel like it just looked like, like a shopper. Too small, I think, would be a little impractical, but it is sort of a smaller, I feel, I don't know, it's just the perfect little size, I feel, the 30. So the color, the leather, everything, it kind of matters, you know? Over the years, I, like I said, I was never really that impressed with them. I saw a friend of mine that had one in a different leather. Hers was black, I think hers is that same size. Hers is black with the silver, but it was that, um, I think it's the same leather that this bag is. The I think this is the, the C-U-I-R leather, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, Cure. I guess that's how you say it. Um, and I'll talk about this bag in a second, but it's kind of that, you know, it's a little rougher. But I like the look of this smoother leather. This is the Swift leather, but it's not the kind that's really thin and floppy. It still has like a shape to it. So that's that. Quickly, just to get back into like how, how you know, how people get them. I've heard people, there are so many, there's so much misinformation about this. It's not about, and I've had, like I said, I've talked to three different sales associates. People have told me, you know, it's just, it, there's not a there's not a rhyme or reason. If a sales associate wants to offer it to you, if you came into the store and they someone say that it was just delivered and they thought you were cool and nice, which I don't even know why they would offer They're gonna offer it to people that they have relationships with, okay? They don't look at some formula on their top secret like Irma's, you know, computer system and say, hmm, she's bought this, that, the, hmm, okay, yeah, she's reached the level, now she can get a Birkin. No, that is not how it works at all. They can do what they want, they can offer it to who they want. But you have to understand that, like, for your sales associate that you even like, there's so many, there's a lot of sales associates at each store. If they get one of these bags, what's the chance that yours is even gonna be offered the bag, that your sales associate's gonna be offered the chance to offer someone that's in their list the bag? Do you know what I'm saying? So it's something that if you wanted it, you'd have to wait a long time, which totally, I guess that's worth it. You may get one, you may not, you may never, you may never get something like that. I wanted to get the one that I wanted. I looked for so long to try to find one. Don't just settle and get something if you see, and I, I don't even wanna say this. I just feel like I got lucky with that. I don't wanna recommend you get something pre-owned because again, you're gonna probably spend the same amount you would in a store. You could get something that's really used, but I love it if it works. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, it's, it's just it's just risky, do that at your own risk, and be smart about it, do your research, okay? And, and here's the thing, Hermes is not going to be impressed with your massive sales history of enamel bangle bracelets, a blanket, and a little pouch. They don't give a crap, they don't care about that. They see people spending like big money in there, they're not impressed with your sales history. They're not impressed that you've, you know, like I've had, I bought like a few regular bags there, blankets, dishes, uh, little knickknacks, jewelry, like scarves. They don't care. They're not gonna look and say, yep, she's at the level. They don't care. It's all about a relationship. And like I said, I have a good relationship with people there, but it's like, I just don't want to have to wait. And I'm realistic, okay? I never even asked any of them, like, I really want a Birkin, put me on the list, because I feel like they'd look at me like, we really like you, but okay, like, so does everybody else. Do you know what I'm saying? And I just, for one, I don't feel like I'm that important to be like, yeah, give me what. Because people that are in there, they see 
so much that they're not impressed with anybody first of all. They're not impressed with even the biggest spenders that they have, which is disgusting. They don't care about that. It's just to them, it's a business. It's about relationships. It's about just having a rapport with somebody. And if it works out, it works out. I know it's different in different places. I know there's certain areas of the world or certain, you know, stores where you have to like, you know, you'll you'll come and you'll stand in line and, you know, you do like the whole queue thing where you stand in line for a bag in the morning before the store <laughs> opens and then you could be there for hours and then you get to the front and they're like, we have this blue, um, da da da, and it's like, you have to decide, do I want it to, that's not my style, I have to think about something, I have to know exactly what I want. Even when I was like, I know this is so like, well, it's not off topic, but this is so like random. Every year when I would get like a prom dress or shop for something, and even now, like if I want something, I've got it in my mind what I want. My mom would be so annoyed with me because I'd be like, I wouldn't go and shop for a dress. I'd have it in my mind of what I wanted and then I'd just go and if they didn't have it. Not that I'd even ever seen it before, but like it's hard for me to just go somewhere and say that's cute, I'll take it for a lot of money. I cannot do that. I have to think about stuff. I have to be sure. And I'm never going to be like swooned by the fact that I'm getting an Hermes bag. So if you've ever seen anyone online that's like, oh, I got one at Hermes. Look at the, like, the, it's someone that has like a massive collection that they built over time. If someone's actually shopping from the store, well, yeah. If someone's buying Kelly's, if they're buying Birkins, it's you know, for me, I could, I have like one color that I like. It's black. It's like, I'm not getting them in all different colors. And first of all, like, no, not doing that. But like, you know, there are people that just have those collections. They just get, you know, you could tell that they bought ones that are just available, you know, or they bought like beautiful ones. I'm not saying they're bad, but I'm just saying like they built a collection. Do you know what I mean? Um, or you see someone that might get one, but they've gotten it as a favor or a friend of a friend gets it for you and then they sell it to you or someone gets it through someone else that has, you know, something. And it's like, you have to be so sneaky or not sneaky, but like not calculated. I don't even know what the word is, but there's just, you have to be, there's just certain ways to get it. And I'm like, I just want to get what I want. I don't want to go and be offered some weird something or wait and never get the one that I wanted. And if they do, for some, by some chance, say, hey, Tiffany, you know, we have this, which I don't even think they would ever do that, okay? They've got other people. They're not worried about me. And I think that there's a bit of like a desperation there. I think you have to be pretty, like they know like people want a Birkin. This desperate person is going to get this one that we offer. I don't wanna say desperate, but like I'm just not, I cannot imagine ever being called and saying, we have this bag, it's nothing that you picked out. It's not a color you picked out. It's not anything you picked out. Come, come take, come take a look at it, and then I'd be like, yes, give me that. I just, I could not do that. I just don't. I don't know. I think you can. I, I just, I don't, I don't want that. I want the one that I want. I want it to. Okay, whatever. So let's talk about mine specifically. Again, talking about pre-owned. I did not want to get into some like bootleg situation where it's like, here's the bag. It's really good. Um, doesn't come with anything. No, I always knew if I get something. Pretty much if I get something pre-owned ever, which. I don't really, this is like the, I hate to say that, but like if I get a Chanel bag, I'm just gonna go to the store and get one that, because it's not that big of a price difference. I wanna get what I what I wanna get and that's just a different situation there. Um, but like this is just, like I said, hopefully I've kind of painted a picture for you that it's just not easy. But again, I don't recommend all the time buying pre, it's just whatever. If you do go pre-owned, which you're probably gonna have to if you want something that's really specific, be diligent and look, don't give up after a month, don't give up after two months, just something will pop up one day and it will be just right, you just have to be patient. So this bag, when it came, it had all of the stickers intact, um, the felt, everything, this was obviously packaged, this was packaged as new, this is like giving me anxiety and I'll tell you why. Um, the raincoat is sealed in there. That's again, if you buy an Irma's bag, do not settle for anything less than what it came with because guaranteed you're gonna end up paying um, pretty much ow, the same price or as you would at a store. So, you know, all of the felt packaging, it came completely packaged up as it would if it were new. The bag, the little bags that everything else is in, like I said, the lock was in there. All the original Aramis paper, the stuffing, it was just exactly like it would have been um, and I bought, like I said, this is not a, not a Birkin, but I know how things are packaged when you get it at the store. It's, it was just, it was immaculate, okay? It was immaculate, it was beautiful. And when I opened it, I know this is crazy, but like I didn't, I got this, oh gosh, I don't even think I said when I got this. I got this in February 
uh, was it the end of January, was it February? Beginning of February, I don't even know, okay? It's around our anniversary and Valentine's Day and all that. And when I got it, it was so special. Like, I was almost afraid to open it. And I thought, you know, this is such a big deal. I don't want to unbox this on YouTube. I know that's like, I say, oh, that's really special when you unbox something on YouTube. I opened it, like, little by little. So I ended the, the you know, the, the bow, and I took the lid off, and then I, like, walked away. Okay, then I did something around the house. Then I came back and I like peeked at it even more. Like I was I yapped so much, had to change my battery. It was such a special thing that like I have never felt like that. And then when I never felt like that opening a bag before. And then when I um when I set it out and when I when I saw how like how it was packaged, how it just felt like, oh my gosh, like this is like it took my breath away. I was so excited. I mean it was such a big deal to get this, and I was just I just I love it so much. So anywho, just it was pristine. It was brand new. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, I just loved it. I love the bag so much. And like I said, um, you know the I have like fingerprint. Isn't that nuts? Like I'm like, oh, there's fingerprints on it. Like every little thing had the plastic on it. It's just beautiful. So. Um, okay, inside of it, I'm like trying to be really careful with it. It's like, can you tell I'm like super baby, babying about this bag, babyish? And then, girl, the little like sealed raincoat, like I took it out of this little plastic packaging, but it's never, you know, a little raincoat. You gotta have, it came in a little thing, you gotta have this, I think, with the bag because otherwise, what's the point? So you can like kind of slip it in the back. But what I did, because this bag is leather on the inside. When I first got this bag, it was obviously like before Corona, before all that, and I thought, oh, okay, you know, I'm gonna do a video. I told you guys about the bag. And then I realized very quickly that I needed an insert for it. So I ordered this like mid-February and it came like mid-April. So I was kind of waiting on it to come. But then the coronavirus, you know, and, and I'm like, this is not the vibe. I don't wanna be talking about, I mean, still it's like, if you're into this, you're into this. I get it. If you're if you're watching this and you're like, why is she talking about this? I don't even know why you're watching this. First of all, like it's clear what this is about, but um, it just wasn't the. I don't know. I just didn't feel right talking about it, and I thought, whatever. I'm gonna wait till I get this anyways. But like I said, the structure of this bag. I mean, it's, it looks the same without this, but um, it's so important to me to keep it. And on the inside, it is just a big open. You know, there's a little there's a slip pocket on the side. I just dropped that. And then there is a zipper in the back, but it is leather. Like everything is leather on the inside. So I don't wanna be just like jangling around things in there, whatever. And so I was talking to my friend about it and I was like, I feel like I need like an insert. And she recommended the Samorga bag inserts. And I was like, I bought a Samorga bag insert 10 years ago from my Neverfull and I loved it. And what I like that they're doing now, because my other one had like a little, I should go get my other one to show you guys, but whatever. And that thing has held up so well over the years. Y'all know that I'm like ride or die for that never full. Like it goes everywhere on vacations, everywhere. The bag insert looks perfect. They sell these for every brand of bag, every size. So these are really nice. I'll link to the company below. It is coming from overseas, so it's going to take a while to get and they hand make all of them. But I like now, and maybe this is not a new thing, but it's new since I bought my other one. You can buy it in any color to match the lining of any bag. But I like that now they tuck the seam so that it looks completely rounded so that nothing like kind of scratches the inside of your bag because my red one that goes inside my Neverfull, the seams look kind of pinched. Do you know what I mean? Not that that felt would like mess up anything, but it is kind of like a, you know what I mean? Like, like it's, it's, I'm not, a, I, I'm not, I don't sew, so I don't know what the word is, but you see how it's like sewn on the inside? Like it's tucked. It's not like this two pieces of fabric are coming out pinched. And I think that's how all of them used to be. So I like that they have that now. So inside, you know, I've got that. I've got, you know, all kinds of little space. It's, it looks like you're looking into a black hole, I fully realize. But it's just so special. And I know even now I'm like, oh, I'm like trying to be careful with it. And like I said, the lock is like giving me major anxiety. Everything like, there's like not a speck on it. There, you know like how when you, like anything like, that's metal like this will get little fine things. It is just pristine. And I was so tempted to like leave the stickers on, but I've heard you definitely don't want to do that with anything Hermes. On some of my bracelets, I've kept it on the inside and years later when you peel it off, the metal looks a little funny. So be careful with that. Don't leave it on thinking that you're doing a good thing. 
So I did get that off. And you know, this has to rest in these little brackets. So eventually it will get a little, you know, it might get a little scratched, but the back of the brackets, they're, you know, they have things on them, so it's not just like metal on metal. But the lock, I for a while just had the key clochette, clo whatever, just kind of hanging off. And if you do it like that, the key cloche hangs really long. But if you hook the lock to it, it keeps the key cloche like at a short good length, if that makes any sense. When you see people carrying this, like if you look it up on Pinterest, if you look, everyone always has this dang key jangling around all over the bag. And especially if it's like a smoother leather, I'm like, oh, you know, this isn't like the smoothest, smoothest leather they have. I like that it has some really light grain to it. But, um, oh my gosh, this, you know, it is just perfect. It's just, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, anyways, it kind of freaks me out because I'm like, do I want this jangling around? But I'm like, you know what, Tiffany, I like the way this looks. I don't like beating the heck out of it or anything. I'm just going to carry it and enjoy it. And I like the way it looks like that. But still, sometimes I'm like, oh, like, I adjust it so that the lock like isn't touching the front of the back. I know it's like it's a little nutty, but okay. Yeah, like I said, got it in February and um, haven't been able to carry it a lot of places. Like I said, we had I had a really fun girls trip planned with my sister, and I was excited to bring it. And no, it's you know, and then you know we didn't go, and then. There's a couple other places we would have been by now, and it's like, you know, I'll be excited to actually bring it somewhere cool, right? But I think this is a good size, all right? This was a bag I just never thought that I was gonna get. I think that it's something, sorry, that if you like handbags, it is something that you know about, it's something that you think about, but I don't think it was ever like a thing saying, oh, Tiffany, I have to have a Birkin, because first of all, I don't care. Like I said, 90, percent not even 90 I would say much more than that of the ones that I see out and about and around because you do see them they just don't appeal to me I don't like a lot of the colors I don't like a lot of what they look like but this is just the yummiest like most like it's edgy it doesn't look like a grandma like floppy Birkin okay um when I come on I gotta hang back in there oh put that in there I'm gonna put it back in the plastic I never like this with a bag, but like, I'm gonna put it back in the plastic. Hate that I even like broke the seal on the plastic thing. But it's like, if I was ever out and it started raining, like I would make, like, would I put a ring, would I like get over in a corner and bust this raincoat out? Yes, I would. This I think does have something to do with that. When I did see that color, that size, that sort of like, it looked edgy, it was cool. In my mind, I thought, I. it's not that I love the bird. It's not that I even am like, oh, I've got to have a bird. I just wanted a little bag that was like that. I loved I loved the leather that was hers. But now I really am glad that I have the Swift leather in that. But um, I was at Hermes, you know, a month or so late, like a while later. Uh, this was around like fall of last year when I grabbed this. But um, I was shopping with my friend. I thought I'm going to look for this little garden party tote. I'd always seen this. But you know, I just feel like this doesn't get a lot of love. It's a very, um, it's an understated little bag. But it's just a classic little Hermes bag. They come in a larger size. And I thought I would honestly like the larger size more. But something about this size I just really do love. And I'll put the exact size. I think this is the, the, the 36. But this is just such a good little everyday bag. It holds so much, I don't know, just attractive. I, so it's such a plain little bag, but the proportions of it, just the way it looks, I don't know, I posted some outfit photos with it last year, and they were some of my favorites. Like I just feel like it just looks so good with anything. Now this is that rougher leather. It's the C-U-I-R leather, the Cure leather. Very thick, it's very structured. I love that in this and that's kind of why I got this was because I had fallen in love with the shape and the style of that little Birkin and I loved this material and so when I walked into the store and they had this one I was just really excited about it I loved the black on the silver obviously and um, it's such a durable little bag to just take with you just a good daily bag right when I found that one and I was like oh my gosh and I just like fell in love with that I love that bag so much it's just something so special about it not because it's a Birkin not because it just feels good it looks good and it's just so special but I remember thinking well am I gonna carry this one a lot like are they two I don't want to say similar because I feel like you can't really compare these they're two totally different bags right but here's what 
That one is definitely more precious, okay? They're both precious bags, but I feel like this is one I would carry just day to day, take it on appointments, throw it, you know, take it take it anywhere, right? Just a more casual, which that could be casual, it could be dressy. This, I mean, do whatever you want with this too. I don't hear enough people, I think, talking about this one. And I would start with this one, I don't care. You know, I, I feel people, at first I thought, you know, is it kind of boring? I don't, I love this bag so much. It's just classic, it's beautiful. I love it, I just love everything about it. So this is a great one, I think, if you're looking for, um, looking for an Hermes bag that you like. I know I've had the Evelyn, you know, the crossbody. I just feel like it's easy. A top handle tote style bag is just so nice. So. And when you're carrying it, like nobody gives a sh about if it came, where it came from. First of all, nobody knows where it came from. I am not someone that's like it didn't come from or whatever. I don't care. I'm not carrying around a dumb looking bag. I carry around the exact one that I want. Did they make more or less of them? No. It's it's an Hermes bag. It doesn't matter really where it came from as long as you get all the stuff that comes with it. Like I said, you're not getting a deal on it. Okay, it's not about getting a deal. It's about getting what you want. And um, I'm just not that like uppity to care about it. It's the bag. It's the type of bag that it is. And you know what's interesting, like another thing too, I've heard that people do is, you know, well why can't you order what you want? Like can't you tell someone? No, first of all, you can't, okay? They offer that. I have, I was joking with someone, I was actually telling a sales associate, like, you know, I was mentioning to her what I wanted, not because I was like, this is what I want, be on the lookout, because I'm realistic, I know how it works, okay? And I'm wanting one of like the most popular size combo of everything like I'm not delusional okay I don't feel like this is something that I'm that I, that I was gonna get but um I was joking and I was like too bad you can't just like order one and they mentioned that yeah it's very rare that yeah they do offer that to people sometimes if you have a ridiculous history of buying Kelly's Birkins you know like if you have that history built up for me that's just something I know I'm never going to do. I'm not that much of like where I want eight different Kellys in different colors. I'm not that big of a fan of that bag. I don't know. Tomorrow I might like totally change my mind. But I don't want it in beige and burgundy and brown and black and all these different colors. If I had one, that would be magical. That would be fantastic. Like I don't I know I'm not going to get to that level <laughs> level not because I know I'm not gonna spend that, well, I do know I'm not gonna spend that much, okay, first of all, but I just don't want that many of that. That's just not what I want. I don't want a million different Birkins. I just, I, this is the color that I wanted. One day, if there's another one, years down the road, but I'm not gonna build that up to the point where they would offer me the chance to like, to order something. They do that sort of as a gift to certain clients, and the sales associate told me that even when that is offered, it's not truly a free-for-all ordering thing. Sure, you could customize certain things, but you have to pick from certain leathers, certain colors, certain styles even, or sizes, but I mean, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be lenient, I guess more on sizes and stuff, but it's about like colors that are in season, um, materials, leathers that are in season. So you still do have to pick, but still, I mean, my gosh, like that would be cool. But it's not like, okay, give me this like basic black one that I want. You know what I mean? I just feel like that's something that everybody wants, that color combo, that specific type. So I just don't see that happening. And I'm telling you all this just so that you get a feel of how the whole process works. It's not about, oh, you bought it pre-owned, just going to the store, you just can't. And if you do, if you luck out and you walked, first of all, that would never happen, okay? But if you lucked out and you walked in and you said, holy crap, that's a, that one is so cute, I love it, more power to you, that's wonderful. Personally, that's not how I shop. I would end up selling it probably in a month because I keep things and I bond with things that I really want. I spend money on things that I've that I really like, that I really want. I've been on a sure there's been times like when I go into a Chanel or whatever. In my mind, I always, if I'm gonna buy a bag or something, there's always a thought in my mind for months or years prior where I'm like, I would like a bag in this size, or I'd like a bag in that size, or, you know, I know I'd like a beige one, or I'd like a gray something or another, and then you go and you see one that's a little different, and you're like, yes, but it's never something that I just walk in and something's so off the wall that I'm like, yes, gotta have that. I have done that before, 
and those things never stick around. I never love those like for the long haul. So with a bag like this that's so expensive, that's so special, I just don't think I could ever, ever, ever go in and take what they offered me that wasn't something that I had thought about or wanted. And I hate to say this, but unless they literally just pulled up in the, you know, the Hermes delivery man, I don't know how they, you know, comes in and is like, here's your bag, you know, here's here's your Kelly's and your Birkins. Unless you were just like in there and that happened and you literally just got first dibs, which no girl, that would never happen. Um, and if you say it did, it just didn't, I know it didn't. They like treat those things like gold. They're gonna like reach out to their people that they promised. Um, so those people will continue to shop from them. Okay, it's, it's a thing, it works. Their system is obvious working for them. I don't want to be carrying around a bag that I know nobody else wanted. Maybe that's bad to say. But I don't want to be carrying around a bag that I know is weird that like is mine because everyone else like thought it was garbage. That, like everybody else didn't want it. Is that bad to say? Because if I thought something was cute, I would think something was cute. But I think a lot of times people think stuff is cute just because it's a Birkin or just be, you may think this bag's uglier than sin. You may think this is awful. You may hate what I'm wearing today. I don't care. I get what I like. I like what I like. And I guess my point of, of this video is just saying like, you know, if you want one, if you're thinking about it, first of all, get it if you truly like it and you fall in love with it. That's what happened with me when I saw the specific one that I liked and then I kind of went for it. I didn't go and say, hmm, I want a Birkin. Like, let me just go take what they can get and be a sucker and spend that money. I don't know. Fully realizing right now that I did not film an intro or an outro to this outro to this video. I'm editing it right now. I ran in here to film this because I'm like, I can't just like cut it off. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it like was some sort of computer thing. I don't know. I think I just totally forgot. I don't I don't even remember. I have no idea what happened. I forgot to film an outro for this video, you guys. So, um here I am. Also, let me talk. Okay, so I don't know if like how this looks. Okay, it's probably like bizarre and the lighting is horrible. But I think it's kind of interesting to do this after a video, after I have been watching it and I see that my Botox is fully worn off, okay? I'm, I'm literally like one minute ago, I was editing this video, okay? And I'm like, I'm seeing this. I'm gonna tell you, I honestly thought like, Tiffany, is the Botox really doing anything for you? Like, do you really need it? Watch the video, I really need it, like my forehead. I think I need it. And I don't think it's bad to see your forehead move. I just think that it's preventative. So I'm going to be calling first thing in the morning to schedule that because everything, everything's worn off, okay? So anyways, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I've been promising it for a very long time. I hope that you are all doing well. And um, let me know if you have any handbag video requests coming up mm. or not because I think that what you're going to ask for is the Chanel video and that is coming up. I do have that planned. So thank you guys so much. Um, I am going to enjoy my birthday. I'm filming this before my birthday. You're going to probably see this after my birthday. So anyways, y'all, I hope that you liked the video. I feel like I've been promising this forever. It feels like forever. Quarantine, COVID, it all feels like forever. Doing a handbag video felt really fun. I have a what's in my bag planned soon. Um, I mentioned that in a previous video, but I also have the Chanel collection, all of that coming up. Sorry if I look like a hot mess, okay? Can you even see me? Am I like so whited out that you can't even see me? Um, but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all so much. Anything that you have questions about, check the info box below. Everything will be linked, hopefully, or um, or listed for you guys. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, y'all.